I'm John Wargo from Flanagan, Illinois. I'm from the Custom Shop, and this is our 1966 Mustang. We are here at the Sony booth at SEMA 2022. Oh, that particular vehicle has a Coyote swap with a 6R80 transmission. Uh, we did a um, kind of a Ram Air stacked injection look on it. It isn't actually a stacked injection, but at first glance, you think it is, but it's actually just a Ram Air that takes air from the scoop and actually forces it into the air filter. So it's kind of like the old school Ram Air back in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so it gives it a little bit more high end look, but essentially it's a stock Coyote motor underneath of it. 450 horsepower. It's got a Roadster Shop chassis underneath of it. It's a spec chassis. So it's uh, coilovers, four link. We love the Roadster Shop stuff. We've been using it for years. Uh, it really makes this car so much better because being a convertible, there's a lot of flex. So, you know, that chassis just allows you to get rid of a lot of that flex that these convertibles have. The other upgrade that that gives you is the ability to fit the Coyote because it gets rid of the upper shock towers. So on this one, it's got Forge Line wheels. We went with these because we liked the black with the diamond cut edge. So it, it gives you kind of the outline of the profile of the wheel, but it, but it isn't like in your face, you know, and with a white car, uh, it's hard to go wrong with a dark wheel. Uh, there, we got Toyo tires on here and 14 inch bare brake on the front. If you got some horsepower, you got to stop that thing too. Well, this interior is kind of unique because uh, we really tried hard to bring the exterior to the interior. So this particular one has a set of pro car seats that have been covered in uh, Apex leather and suede. Uh, as you can see, the graphics really uh, kind of complement the graphics on the exterior. And that's really what I wanted to bring into that. We stretched the dash a little bit and gave it a little bit more eyebrow, I guess I'll call it. Digital Dakota gauges. It's got Sony's new ES line in it. 9500 ES touchscreen, which is mounted just below the, the uh, vintage air controllers. Uh, we've got a low car shifter in this car. But one of the cool things that you'll see on this car, it has a motorized lift up top. One of the neat things you'll see in the center console is a, a panel of switches, obviously power windows, everybody's got those, but we actually have a fingerprint touch screen button so that it recognizes the fingerprint to actually raise and lower the roof. So as the roof motorizes up 12 inches, find as its center, and then it can float there all day on display, or you can pull the pins out, take the roof off and run the actuators back down. And now you have a convertible. So you really can get either a fastback look or a convertible look either way. Uh, we, we really did this because, you know, the, you know, the wife wanted the convertible, the husband wanted the fastback. So we kind of gave him the best of both worlds on this one. So this, this was a, a start to finish build uh, from a sandblasted body and a concept rendering to the finished car here in 11 months. The ground effects are, I guess I'll call not really molded in, but more flared into the body like what you would see on a new car. Uh, we wanted it to look more like it would be a modern Mustang instead of being, you know, back in the day, you know, everything was just kind of slapped on and bolted on and we didn't like that look. So everything on the ground effects is, is kind of technically molded in like what a new car would be. And some of the cool parts we do is like the molded in LED lighting, like it's in the bumpers. And then of course my specialty is the paint work. So it's got a pro spray paint, which is multicolored. And if you look inside the paint, you'll see a lot of ghosted graphics, a lot of little tiny details of pinstriping and drop shadows. And um, even in the front, if you look close, there's a little splattered Wiley e. Coyote on the front. So, oh man, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming down the pipe. We've got a, a pretty cool 61 Corvette that we're gonna build. Uh, we've got a 48 cab over Chevy truck. Uh, we've got a really cool, 2019 ZL1 Camaro that's going to look like a 78 Trans Am. Uh, so, you know, we're always doing something crazy out there. First of all, I'd love to thank Sony for having us here. You know, obviously without them, we don't get a spot out here at the show. Uh, Kevin and Judy for allowing us to build this awesome car for them. And, you know, just really all the sponsors that, you know, stand behind us. We've been doing this a long time. So this is John Wargo. Thanks for watching. Pass Mag Tuning 365.